What's going on guys? Um, I actually just left work, that's why I'm dressed like this. But, I do have something here. It is the new edition. I should, like I said, be getting about, I think, two more shipments over the next few weeks here. This is the different species. Like, It's honestly nothing like extravagant or crazy. I just think they're pretty interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to cut uh, right to it and then I'll do the unboxing. All right, guys, so this shipment is from, I found this person on Morph Market. I'm not familiar with them. Or I'm just saying I've never done business before with them. The Gecko King. That's their card. So what I have right here. So there are two of them. As you can see on a label, that is Bavaya Robusta, two unsexed, unrelated, uh, first generation. He said they were from the Mount Kogus locale. But these guys, so they're from New Caledonia, just like the gar gargoyles, the chihuahuas, lychees, all that. Um, they're a little bit smaller, though. But I think their pattern is pretty cool. They max out, I believe, in the 20s. There's not much... Um, there's really not much, like, care sheets that you can just find and pull up. Check that out. But the care is very similar to other New Caledonian species. And it looks like I still have to get familiar with this one. If it's fired up or fired down, definitely you could tell they're a lot faster than a gargoyle or anything like that. But my hopes is to be able to breed these. Now, these aren't an expensive species. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, it's run off the table. All right, I'm back. So they aren't an expensive species. Um, the trouble is just finding them available. These were $150 each. And I saw he had two other species of the Bavaya as well that were different prices. So I'm honestly not even sure if that's a good price or not. Um, but yeah, it was just when I found them, it's actually something that I've been wanting. So yeah, I decided to go for it. So I will definitely put some more content out about these right here uh, once I get more of myself familiar with them. And... Yeah, I'm looking forward to hopefully being able to breed these. Like I said, they're unsexed, but they are unrelated. So that is the goal. If I happen to hit the lottery and I have a male and a female. So yeah, um, he's crawling on my arm right now. I will keep you posted on these. As always, let me grab them off. Follow me on Instagram. That's where I'll make sure to post pictures and that type of stuff of these guys. So yeah, I'm really excited about these um, and you know, learning more about them and their care and seeing if it's possible to get any morphs out of them and make them look pretty cool because I think they're pretty neat. So thanks again for watching. Just make sure to give me a follow uh, for updates or you can message me there as well.